going on, my unlimited family? King Cuban here, baby. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Of course, again, happy new decade to you. We are already 11 days in, but so what, right? Um, happy new decade to you, man. So check this out, man. We got some things that I want to talk about real fast that I feel like is very important for us as humans. It's very important for our mental health and things of that nature. And something that I thought about when I woke up this morning. And, um, you know, I'm just so thankful for my life and everything that's come, everything that's to come. Um, so what I'm going to tell everyone and, um, you know, I could study sometimes. I got to get my thoughts together, but it's all right. I'm, I'm going to tell you one right now, okay? It's 2020, no four year, because, you know, 20, if you add two plus two, you know, zero, zero. But if you add two plus two, it's number four. So this is year, a number four type of year. And it's also a 2020 vision type year. So that's like everybody's talking about. So uh, this year, let's not lose our vision, okay? Um, no procrastination this year, you know what I'm saying? And that 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 goes for me too. No procrastination this year. Let's learn to move with a sense of urgency. Okay, that's one thing that's very important. Now, the very the bigger topic that I want to talk about that I think is very important. Okay, I want to say this, and I want to say this is very important to me. Stick to your guns. It's 2020, baby. Stick to your guns. And let me tell you what I say, why I say, what I say, and why I say that. Stick to your guns, okay? There are individuals that we may have met before, right? And we figure this person out. Some of us figure out at certain times, but uh, most of the time we figure this person out before we even deal with them, okay? So when I say stick to your guns, I want you to stand on your judgment, okay? Stand on your judgment because you can learn somebody within like a week. You can learn somebody within five to ten minutes of a conversation. You get what I'm saying? You can learn somebody by their actions. You can learn somebody about what they do versus what they say, okay? So that's very important. This year, we're sticking to our guns, guys. We're going to stand on our judgment. Don't let your judgment pass you. Whatever you think, believe it, okay? Whatever a person shows you, believe it, okay? So, uh, 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 you know, if that person is a delusional, compulsive liar, stand on that. Stand on that. You got to be careful with that person. You know, if they, if that's how they live and that's how they roll, you might want to watch how you move around that person because they're liars. They can, they, you know, they can, they can simply lie, okay? In general. Um, another thing, if that person is domestic, you know, if, if, if you meet a man, he's domestic, stand in that judgment. You know what I'm saying? If he puts his hands on you and y'all not together, or he attempts to put his hands on you and y'all not together, or whatever the case may be, stand on that judgment, okay? If he, uh, uh, if she's controlling, you know what I'm saying? If you see somebody that's controlling and you see how they are before y'all get together, you see certain little things that they do that's kind of like not up your aisle. Stick to your judgment. Stick to your guns. You know what I'm saying? So that's so. This is the problem with us as humans, and that goes for myself as well. Our judgment is poor. You know what I'm saying? We look past the things that we don't like, the boundaries that we set that we don't like. We look past it and still continue on with the person when they're already showing us who they are. You get what I'm saying? They're already showing us who they are. Okay. So let's not. You know, let's continue to um, um, use our self-esteem. Let's keep our self-esteem high, okay? Let's keep our senses high, okay? Let's keep our judgment high, okay? Because understand that there are different traits and characteristics for everybody, okay? But guess what? We, us as people, us as humans, we know what we will and will not deal with. We know that. Okay, so we got to stand on those things. You get what I'm saying? I met a female that um, uh, uh, I really liked. Okay, this may be like years. This is years ago. I probably was like 18, 19 at the time, right? So I really liked this female. Okay, this woman, she was melanated, colored, Jamaican woman. Um, she was very attractive. You know, she was very attractive. Um, things of that nature. She actually thought I was attractive. You know what I mean? She thought physically, physically attractive. Now, here's the thing. She watched me and everything that I did to see if decide, to decide if she likes me or she wants to continue with me or, or anything. You know what I'm saying? If she wants to continue a friendship into a relationship, whatever the case may be. Now, look, me working for her, I grabbed, you know, one day we walked down the street. 
And I was like, yeah, you know, can I get your number? Boom, let's talk some time. Because I knew we was already going to school together. And she said, no. She said, I can't do that. She said, I can't do that, Quay. Um, I said, why? You know what I'm saying? I said, why? Why can't you do that? She said, because look how you look how we're walking down the street. She said, you got me walking on the outside of the curb. She said, and you keep spitting. She said, you don't you never really spit around a woman. You never really spit around a female. You know what I'm saying? Then now look, just off of those small things, okay? Just off of those things, she stuck to her guns, okay? That was her judgment. Like, well, damn, if he's like this, how would we look if we was in a relationship and we walked in the street and somebody's watching? Somebody might not even know what's wrong with this situation. You know what I'm saying? So that's very important, guys. Stick to your judgment. If they're toxic in any way, stick to your gun. I don't care how much you like them. I don't care how handsome he is. I don't care how beautiful she is. Whatever the case may be. I physically attract you. I find anybody. Stick to your judgment. You do not have to continue on with someone that you just figured out. You paid attention to some of the things that they do and you don't like it. Okay? You don't like it. Now, let me tell you, there's another thing. Eventually, okay? And it's so sad because it, it, it's sad how it works like this, but... You have individuals out here that fall out over the smallest things. You know what I'm saying? They fall out over the dumbest things versus individuals who, who like, who've been around toxic energy, like, majority of their lives. Not even majority, but, you know, uh, uh, an amount, amount of years of their lives, maybe five to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen years, they've been around toxic energy. And that lasts longer than you and the person that may have had a small fallout about something that just, it wasn't worth y'all falling out. And y'all might only know each other for a year and a half or two years. That's bad. You know what I'm saying? That's not a good thing. So that's why I say what I say, you know, uh, you know, if there's something big that you feel like is major, you know what I'm saying? Something that's major that you will not tolerate. You feel like it's cutting your boundaries and things of that nature. Stick to your guns. That's it. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Stand on your judgment. If you see that, you say, you know what? If he did that to her or if he's doing that, that's his actions and that's the type of person he is. He'll do that to me. If she's doing that to him, or that's the type of person or characteristic that she does on the norm, and she's doing that to me, and we're just friends, she's going to do that, and we're in, a, we're in a relationship. And I'm not going to like that. And that's one thing that I realized, my judgment. That's one thing that 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 uh, that I'm learning, you know, and I'm going to stand on that from now to here on, you know what I'm saying? My judgment, you know what I'm saying? I made a big mistake. I, I, I've made some mistakes in my past that... Um, I sometimes feel like I regret and I'm really working on getting over it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm at, I'm at, I actually am, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually getting over it. I'm getting better as a person and stuff, but it taught me something, you know what I'm saying? It taught some of my my things in my past taught me that you have to be careful in this Babylonian world because some people are out for something, you know what I mean? Some people are out for something from you, okay? So you have to be very careful in what it is. And if it's not common, if it's something that they're out for and it's not something you're out for too, it's not common. Then we can't do it, okay? So if you feel as though, uh, you know, this might be the worst analogy, okay? But, you know, if, if, if you want to rob a bank and I feel as though that's not my idea, that's not something I want to do, then I'm going to let you rob the bank, baby. We ain't going to, we're not going to, I'm going to let you do that by yourself. I'm going to let you go, you know what I mean? I'm going to let you face the consequences, you know what I'm saying? But you need like-minded individuals, okay? The feeling has to be mutual with you and your friend, okay? It has to be. I don't believe in opposites to track. I don't believe that, okay? I don't believe that because, uh, you know, two positives make a positive. You know what I'm saying? Two negatives make a negative. So I don't believe in any of that opposites to track type stuff. If, if the opposites attract, that means that somebody needs to detach. Somebody needs to detach from the whole situation, okay? And that's something I really stand on. So like I said before, guys, like I said again, uh, you know, stick on your guns, you know, if they toxic, they just give out toxic negative energy, if they're physically, mentally, spiritually abusive, get rid of them, keep it moving, if they're delusional liars, they constantly lie to you, and they're compulsive at it, get rid of them, okay, okay? don't, don't, if they're domineering, want to be controlling and dominant with everything, get rid of them, go move on, control them, things that they nature, okay, we all got to grow as humans, and I understand that, but one thing I will say is stand to your judgment. You know why? Because if you stand to your judgment, it'll save you a lot of headaches. It will save you a lot of stress, emotional stress, uh, physical stress, 
mental shit because mental health is very important in our lives, guys. So if you're already happy, guess what? Stay happy. And you grab somebody who adds to that happiness, who builds it up even more, builds your sanity. I want to thank y'all for watching, of course. This is King Cuba signing out, guys. Thanks for watching again. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, baby. Okay? Peace, passion, prosperity, and love to you all, of course. And, of course, God bless everyone.